stretch, contract, squeeze. Hey guys, how's it going? TRX Traveller, Adam here. Today we're gonna to do a quick video on the best three exercises for shoulders. Now when we talk about shoulders, I think it's best to dissect them. So we're gonna hit the front, the middle, and the rear part of the shoulders, because we wanna create a nice, full, round shoulder. I love to work these three exercises back to back. The first muscle we're gonna target is the rear deltoid, so the rear shoulder muscle, because that's normally the weakest on people. So we always start with the weakest muscle first. The first exercise for that is TRX face pulls. Two key things to remember with face pulls, at the top, you wanna to try and rotate the shoulder, rotate it back as we pull past our face. And the second one is at the bottom. We wanna try and create a bit of a stretch. So allow your shoulders to pull forward so you can really stretch out that rear deltoid so we can then contract it back and rotate round. So it looks a little bit like this. Get your setup right. You don't need too much intensity for these. I like to always start where I'm gonna finish. So I'm gonna finish about there and I can already feel if I pull the tension on my rear deltoid there. So we go back for one, two, three, four. Feel that stretch, contract up, rotate, pushing my wrists back, and we're gonna hold there for one, two, and back down for one, two, three, four. Stretch, contract, squeeze. I'm really trying at the top here to pull back, to rotate back. And as I am, you'll feel you'll feel that rear deltoid, fi deltoid fire, that rear shoulder muscle. So really pull back and twist and contract it super hard. I like to do these three exercises superset, so I'd normally do the face pulls. Then we jump on straight to the second exercise, which is for the middle shoulder muscle, the middle deltoid. I love to do TRX T's for these. Key thing to remember for TRX T's, we want to pronate forward. We don't want to retract because if we do them retracted, we're gonna bring our back muscles in. This is a bit more of an advanced technique. If you're a beginner, you don't really need to worry about that. I just focus on doing the actual movement. If you wanna take it to a bit more of an advanced level, protract forward and make sure to keep a constant tension like this. Constant tension, just think like a kind of a zombie. You're just sort of holding the hands and you're keeping a constant tension. We don't go too far down because we lose the tension on the, on the middle shoulder muscle and it means we're just hanging on the joint. Likewise, if we retract too far back, Back muscles are really coming into play there and they're taking the load off the middle shoulder muscle. We always wanna isolate each of the individual muscles as much as we can and keep the load on them. So, TRX T's, protract forward. I like to start where I'm gonna finish, which is about here. Down for one, two, three, four, up. Squeeze, pushing my palms out to the sides of the wall, really as hard as I can, pulling, and back down for one, two, three, Four, not too far, just to there. I don't want to hang like this. I do want to keep the constant tension so my elbows are still slightly bent and I'm contracting back up and I'm squeezing. And by squeezing, I'm pushing the back of my hands to the sides of the wall for two seconds and down for If you're liking this vid, guys, give it a quick thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe so I can keep you updated with fitness, freedom, suspension training, technique and tips. Now, even after just doing a few of them face pulls and a few of them tees, I can already feel a little bit of a pump building, a little bit of a burn, which is great. Remember, it's isolation and tempo and technique. Smart work first, then hard work. Finally, the third exercise, we wanna target the front deltoids. These are a real burner. We're gonna do front raises. Slightly bend your elbows though, just so you don't put too much, pr too much pressure on the joints. Just find it's a bit more of like, if you're really sort of like straining like this to keep things straight, you're stressing the joints a bit. And when, you know, we don't want that. We just wanna place the load on the muscle that we're targeting, which is the front shoulder muscle. Again, protract for more advanced. If you're just beginner or intermediate, just focus on going through the motions of doing it. Focus on your tempo. And focus on connecting with the muscle, the mind to muscle. We're gonna use the handles. I always like, again, to start where I'm gonna finish, which is gonna be up there. Now, you can see, I'm gonna try and, you don't need much intensity at all, and I'm gonna protract my shoulders forward a bit. So as I come down, I'm gonna to come to about here. If I go any further down, I'm just hanging, just hanging on the TRX, and we don't want that. We wanna keep the load on it. Go down for one, two, three, four, and up, squeeze. And by squeeze, I'm pushing back. So at this point, I'm really pushing the TRX above me and down for one, two, three, four, and up and squeeze. These are hard guys, these are a burner. Even just from that, God, I can really just feel it right there on the front deltoid. I don't think it's necessary to train the front deltoid too much because when we do a lot of presses, 
it gets a lot of work done. Granted, we always try and isolate the chest, but it's still incorporated a bit. And what I tend to find is just from generally clients and normally have overdeveloped front, delt, front shoulder muscles from doing or maybe presses or lots of press ups, things like that. It's normally the rear and middle which are underdeveloped and it's the rear and middle which give that nice shape, that nice little pop. Often when you see stage athletes standing there, you know, they've kind of got this flat bit here and a nice pop here. That's from a good developed rear shoulder muscle and middle shoulder muscle it gives lovely shape. So that's what you focus on. Three best exercise for shoulders in my opinion do them back to back or do your face pulls go straight into your t's and then go straight into your fronts if you want to do an advanced superset or you can work them in just by focusing on just do your face pulls you know do three sets of those try and do higher reps i'd say don't want much intensity try and get to between 10 and 15 reps in each really build up a lot of blood in the muscle really build up a burn that's what we're after give them a go hopefully that video is useful Here's a link to another video you may also find useful. Give it a go. Any questions, debates, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching.